sessiz tepe 2 Michael Bassett'ın yönettiği popüler bilgisayar korku oyunu Silent Hill'den uyarlanan ilk filmin devam filmi. Geçtiğimiz hafta vizyona girip türünün severlerini korkutup germeye devam etmişti. Filmin CGI ve yaratık tasarımı oldukça başarılı. Özellikle üçgen kafalı yaratığın kimin kabusundan çıktıysa merak konusu. Yazar ve yönetmen Michael Bassett'ın görsel açıdan yetenekli olduğu ortada. Film karanlık ve gotik mekanlar ve acayip yaratıklar görmekten haz duyan korku severleri memnun edecek. Revelation. Heather, come to Silent Hill. Calling me. You know what Silent Hill is? You were chosen to destroy the demon. For me, is this psychological roller coaster ride and a whole lot of screams and fun. So the story of Silent Hill is a combination of elements from the game number three, a continuation of the story from movie number one, and elements that I've created myself. We wanted uh, to have a, a second opus that will stand on his own. I play Sharon from the first film, who uses, who goes by the name Heather in this um, story because she and her father Harry are on the run. We have to keep changing our names because the order, very powerful force. They want her. They want her back in Silent Hill. What's going on? I know that symbol. This is it. Do you know what that is? Vincent. We don't know who he is. He's a, a stranger to us. He wants to get on side with Heather. He wants to become Heather's friend. No, wait. Get down. Look. Claudia, who is the leader of the order, she is the high priestess of the Order of Valtiel. She's a complex character. I think that she is very intense about her beliefs. I know the darkness is coming. It's safer to be inside. We knew that we wanted to bring back a number of characters from the first Silent Hill into the second for the continuity. It's a joy to be back on Silent Hill. I love being part of the world. Oh. Oh. I've introduced some new creatures. They're variations on what was existing in the games already. Apart from this creature we're calling the missionary. And then of course we have Leonard, who played by Malcolm McDowell, who in the game we only ever see in monster form. <laughs> It's sort of fun to do these um, old, growly, old, um, kingly attack parts. Shh. <laughs> Silent Hill is another world that uh, will give the audience and the gamer the way to immerse yourself into a new world. And this new world of horror is in 3D. On this movie, we've done things with 3D that nobody's done before. And I think it's going to be very exciting for the audience to see that. You cannot defeat me. Do not go to Silent Hill. It's a very frightening movie. It's got lots of monsters. It's got an enormous amount of atmosphere and great performances in the middle of it. So it's a combination of hopefully all the best bits of all the horror movies you like into a new thing in 3D based on a best-selling computer game, developing those ideas and putting them into a movie. I'm Michael Bassett, I'm the writer and director of Silent Hill Revelation 3D. I remember when the first Silent Hill came out, I remember it changed the gaming world because it was story, it was character. The use of sound design and atmosphere was virtually unique at the time. I'm a gamer, first and foremost. So when I was invited by Konami to go to the studios where they're developing, it was extremely exciting. I mean, I've always wanted to be involved in computer games and to sit down and talk with the guys and the director of the, of the new game and see his take on how he's putting it together and see how they viewed the mythology and where they were taking and advancing the storyline and the world of Silent Hill it was a fantastic opportunity. The mythology is so detailed and rich that it is possible to go through the reams and reams of information that you can get about these games 
and cherry pick a great storyline. Heading to prison? No, you Murphy. Uh, just looking for a way out of town is, is all. Silent Hill 3, the game, already had a great storyline and it was a natural successor to the story of the little girl from the first movie, which I thought was really, really honest and pure to the game world of Silent Hill. I think the psychological aspect is the most frightening thing about Silent Hill. And I think, you know, it started in the games and Michael's taken it to a new level in this film. I want this to be much more frightening than the first movie as well, because I think that is true to what Silent Hill is. They are the most frightening computer games ever made. amusement park. I can help you. in the world of Silent Hill was completely and utterly ter terrifying. I mean, you know, aesthetically we all know, you know, the games and, and the first film itself has this kind of really petrifying and unique um, landscape and, and that is, I mean, in, in person it is literally petrifying. I, I was in perpetual fear. I literally screamed before every take um, because I needed to really kind of you know, I needed to get that adrenaline rush, that adrenaline rush that you see in Heather Mason in the games. So. Yeah, you know, I think I relate with her, Heather on a, in a number of different ways. Mainly, I think, in physical sense of the role that I, I wouldn't give up, especially for family and what that means to me, personally. Um, and, you know, Heather is, is doing this for her dad and she's doing this for her mum. I am so privileged to be a part of this film and I'm really, really excited for you to all see it and I just really hope you enjoy it as much as I love making it. Thank you.